Solus, welcome back to the playthrough of Planet Apocalypse. Agent Matt Wright here, running through, I think I'm up to turn 7? Could be wrong. <laughs> when I edit my videos, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out which one I'm up to. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting quite the way through. Let's do a quick recap of how the board looks, what's going on. So first, let's let's pan the map. I'm just going to unlock this. So the Lord's moved up one a couple of terms ago. Um, he's got an invasion token still sitting on him. Um, over here in area two, um, there's only one fiend left. The season militia did a good job there. Um, Got to be careful though. Next time the Lord moves, which is a few turns away, all these troopers will die. That will go straight to hell. Um, I have the Catopolis still here with two health remaining. Um, I've got my hero sitting there, ready to have a go at him. Area four is clear. Cacodemon about to escape. The gift board. Still looking quite good. I've got a few nice ones coming up here. Getting extra two healthy with the EMT. Um, determination plus one to cap and current health. I'm eyeing off that one. Another saw the spirit. Um, frag grenade. If someone's got a good luck, maybe mash you in with charity. There's a few options here. And I'm liking this part of the game. Um, how this can build the character, completely change how you approach the game. As I said before, Catavopus has two health left. Um, I've still got one Pestilence from him, which I'm about to get rid of very soon. Playboards. Um, so John Dark doesn't have... He's got his forfeit soul ability, but doesn't have the Dark Exchange just yet. Um, he's got a 1d8 rocking at the moment. Three Toughness. He's Captain, which I'm about to pass on. Still has a Pestilence, which I need to get rid of. Full Health, which is four. One Courage, two Luck. He also has two Volunteers in his possession. Um, poor old volunteers in his position. I guess he's. Uh, I'm not sure how he's moving around, pushing along. I don't know. Naomi Johnson, who's now about to become captain for this round, has a 1d8, 1d6, 3 luck, no courage, um, full health, has unlocked the ability of focus, which, if I roll a 1, it will become the highest of that die, which is fantastic. Still has a pestilence on her as well. I think. I forgot to add a D6 last time when I ambushed, um, but that's too late now. It's not going to do anything because the Catopolis needs two die, two dice to do anything. Finally, but not least, I have Terang still. Um, Pestilence marker on him as well. Two 1D8s he rolls, three Courage. Um, he used uh, Silver Bullet and Salat last time, so he's down a few points of health, but we're about to heal him up very soon. He's got Medikit. He might heal himself here. Um, he also has Prayer unlocked, which means he automatically restores one health at the start of the team phase, and I might do that now. So I've used the Prayer ability straight away. Okay, so first step here, I'm thinking we need to get rid of that Pestilence. Um, so as our first aid action, um, we can get rid of Pestilence. Now, because Terang's on four health at the moment, um, I'm just curious how this works. This is how I'm going to play it. So when Terrain goes in a moment soon, he restores, he has Medkit, which restores plus one health. Now, if he first aids, I imagine that will get rid of the Pestilence. You can use the first aid to do that, but then the plus one health means he adds one to here, I guess. I'm thinking that's what happens. I don't think you could use this to get rid of two Pestilence, which I didn't do last time. So that's a little um, FAQ that I might want to double check. Um, this is how I'm going to play it. When he first aids, he's going to get rid of his Pestilence. He's going to first aid himself, carry his pestilence, and also get extra one health. So I'm going to do that now. Um, he would have to spend a courage to do that, which he has done. So pestilence, and he's now up to five health out of six. Um, Nomi cannot heal herself. She can't first aid on herself, so John Dark's going to have to first aid her, and she will first aid John Dark. She doesn't have any courage, so she's going to spend a luck on her board to first aid John Dark, and John Dark has a one courage left to first aid Naomi Joslin. That's all pestilence gone from my characters. Um, I've got full courage still in the pool. Terrain could almost get something here. Um, with these seven. So the gifts, I've got full, full courage in the pool. Um, Terrain has two courage still. Naomi has zero. John Dark has zero. Um, Nomi has two luck, John Dark has two luck, Terrain has one luck. So, 
Does John Dark get his Dark Exchange ability? That's, that's That just costs four. And he can get plus one cat. I might do that. Though I'm not sure if I'm going to use Dark Exchange. It could be handy at the very end of the game. Um, plus one to cat. What else can we get out there? Terrain could spend his luck. He's two. Two courage, his luck, and the four from the pool to get plus one to his toughness. Um, and then he could get some extra luck with charity. Oh no, you guys choose another hero to get that. Frag grenade would be handy. I don't want to get EMT on him. I could get another Sword of the Spirit, but there's. Um, yeah, I might do that. And get plus one to his toughness as well. That would be handy so he doesn't get hurt as bad. So I'm going to spend one, two here, luck, and then four from the pool. Four from the pool. He might get the last Sword of the Spirit. I was tempted to get the determination, but I might save that for John Dark. He might need another extra health on him, I think. It could be handy to go with Terang with his um, sil uh, sil sorry, um, Silver Bullet ability. Um, hmm. Nah, I'll get the Sword Spirit. So on his board, it's going to go right here. I'll get plus one to his toughness, if I put it right here. So replace one die mark in your attack box with one supply. I'll get a 1d10 here, and I'll get also a toughness right there. So 1d10, toughness 3. The plan here, I think... So Captain is Naomi. She rolls a 1d8, 1d6. There's a chance... Yeah, she will... I think... So I'm thinking, I need to get back to the start, but this Cacodemon's here. Is there a chance I can kill Catolophus? And then get back to the kill. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Um, Nomi can come back here and hope for the best to kill the Kaka Demon. Because I wouldn't mind recruiting. Hmm, I think we're going to go get rid of this Catalpus first. Um, we might just have to move back. Do we move back to? Do we cop the Kaka Demon? Cacodemon, if we all move back here, Cacodemon would aim at John Dark. He has two volunteers. Not a big deal. Yeah, I suppose that'd be right. Yeah, then we can recruit next phase and come forward again. I think that's what we do. Nomi's first up. She'll roll her 1d8 and 1d6. Um, she could get help here. I think a 1d8 and 1d6 is good enough, surely, to get three or more on one. Surely we can do this. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yes. Four and six. That's one more damage to Catolophus. Three now. One more left, and it is toast. It is dead. Put back to ashes. Um, John Dark will then move back to... in preparation to take some damage from the Cacodemon. He's got two volunteers. Um, I think we can absorb it. Next up is Terrain. So Terrain has the Silver Bullet ability. Um, he rolls a 1d10, 1d8. Um, I could try to make sure of it by using the Silver, the silver Bullet ability once. Maybe I'd do that just to make sure I can take this thing out because um, Oops, I moved the wrong person there. No, me. Um, because John Dark only rolls one die and he can't do anything. He needs two dice to do damage to the Catalpus and the Cacodemon. So he's kind of useless in this round. But he can take out that Cacodemon for me if he uses Forfeit Soul. Ooh, I might do that. To add a D10. Interesting. Yeah, forfeit soul. So forfeit soul on John Dark. Um, increases the spare track, but I want to add a D10 to that attack. And I might, I'm hoping Terrain can kill Scatolphus. We all move back here. John Dark will then get a 1D10 to take, try and take out the Cacodemon. It's a risk, and I want to do this. Okay, so Terrain's rolling. At the moment, he rolls a D8 and a D10. So 
fair chance I'll do damage. Do I take Silver Bullet just once to make sure of it? I might do that. Silver Bullet. I'm just going to spend one here. I'm sure there'll be time to heal up next turn, things like that. I'm just going to add one more D8 just to make sure I kill it. One D8 added. D10, two D8. 855, five. absolutely annihilated it. That's the end of the Catalpa. So he goes up to... He goes up to four health. He's dead. That is four courage for Terang. Catalpa is out of here. That was good. That was good. Terang is also going to move back to the start. He can do this because... Um, no, I mean, Joslin's already there. Before, he wouldn't be able to move into a third circle area on his own. That's his weakness. But he's able to do it. Um, John Dark is going to move back to, and we're going to um, use his forfeit soul ability to add a d10. So d10, he also rolls a d8 normally. Now, and hopefully he can take out this Kakadim. I need fives or higher on two dice. Not the greatest of chances, but there's a chance. Let's do it. Six and eight, it's done. Fantastic, finally took one out. Kakademon, Golonski. We're on a roll here, we're clearing out the board. One courage for John Dark. Okay. Good, good, good. Minions attack. Fiend is the only thing here. He's a bit lonely at the moment. We better make take advantage of this very soon. I think we need to recruit well here. Could take two turns to recruit well though, to take on the Lord. Mm, we'll see how we go. Alrighty. Enemy phase now. So on my despair track, I've gone up one because I used forfeit soul before. And then it goes one, two, three. Lord goes up one. Four in the courage pool, one more despair dice. Now attack. Can't hit anyone, there's only the poor lonely fiend up here. So he then moves. Invasion token moves into here. Explodes out. Now with eight dice. That's a lot of grill eye. One, two, Three Grillus, which is quite good for the Sism Militia. Only three D sixes could do something there. Three Grillus. Three Lava. Alrighty, ambushes attack. So one D ten here against the fiend. Seven. Fantastic. That's exactly the minimum I needed to take him out. One courage in the pool. Now five courage in the pool. And then Sism Militia roll three D6s. Five, three, and one. Well, that one's hopeless, but five and three will take out a Grillus and a. Ooh, yes, and a Lava. Um, Grillus of toughness of three. That's two more courage in the pool. That's seven in the pool. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. So that's the end of that turn. Can I have to turn eight, I believe, now. And uh, not looking too bad here. I've been to recruit some more. And let's get to the Lord. We better get there soon before it gets too late with all these dice rolls. Alrighty, next turn, guys. Um, all the heroes are back here. Uh, we had no pestilence. I forgot to mention that too before when the despair track went through, so we didn't get any damage from that. Um, First thing we want to do is do some first aid, and we don't have to spend any courage for it because there's no demons in our area. So Nomi has full health, but she can't and she can't first aid herself anyway, but she will give a first aid to Terang. And so Terang was on four. She'll give him a first aid, plus he has an automatic for prayer to go up one. So he's back at full straight away. Easy done. Alrighty, we can all recruit. Um, Captaincy is now going to Terang, and Terang will roll first. He rolls a four. Alrighty, big decision here. Um, does he spend? He could get a special force he can, if he spends a courage and special forces. Um, you roll a d6 when special forces absorbs damage, or a six is not discarded. It absorbs three damage, which is 
awesome. I could do that. Or I could get four volunteers, but there's only um, two left. Um, he get a police. I think he might spend a courage, because he's got four on him. Spend a courage to get a special forces. That'd be quite handy to absorb um, some damage at the start of the turn. I wouldn't mind another one though. Okay. Uh, next up would be John Dark to recruit. He rolls a one. He's already got two volunteers. He's just going to get one more volunteer. Because you can't hold more than one type. So he now has three volunteers. And uh, Nomi. Nomi Joslyn rolls a four as well. She could go down the same pathway though. She has no courage. So she might take a take a cop police. Absorbs three. Could get an army. Um, army is worth four, and I can, but it only absorbs two, but I could discard it to get an extra D10 to my attack. Um, I think I'll just get the police. Alrighty, I think we're getting close to... Now, still the team action. Nomi could go forward one to try and get ahead and take out these guys up here, but she's not going to kill them all, I don't think. I think we just all take our time getting up there. It's all... Yeah. I think that's what's going to happen. Um, now, the thing is, we only need one person to activate the Lord. So I'm thinking whether... Next go... So next go, John Dark's going to be leader. So what can happen? I'm thinking two turns ahead here. I think Nomi might be the only one that moves up to here in her go. Um, everyone else stays here. They recruit more next team phase. The enemies will come out here. There'll be some ambushes. And then after that, Nomi would activate the Lord. You only one hero to go activate it. And then it comes back and resets. So we might do that. Let's go Nomi forward two. Um, Tereng was, sorry, the captain. He's not going to do anything. He's just going to stay put. Let me move forward to John Dark is going to stay put. And then, despair cycle. One, two, three. Nothing happens. Um, I could have bought some gifts, actually, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, ooh, let's go back and think about that. <laughs> so we're taking a small step back just to pretend that we didn't move yet. Uh, let's go get a gift. And who needs the gift the most? So we've got seven in the pool. Um, John Dark will get another D6. I think that'll be pretty handy. I'm going to get John Dark to get one D6, I think. And I'm going to get that with the determination. So one from his, and I need another seven from the pool, which there is. I'm going to go up to here, add one d6 to my attack token with the determination. So add plus one cap, plus one to cap and current health. So they both go up to five. Um, he's then going to get a d6 to his attack box. So he's looking a lot better for attack now. Rolls a 1d8 and a d6. Okay, now we're cooking. Forgot about that. Getting the gifts phase, but not forget that. Uh, Terrain has three courage still. Can't do anything with that though. He's he's only got one spot left to gain four luck, which is worth eight. Okay. Now yeah, back to it. Well, then we move. So Terrain's not going to move. He stays put. Nomi moves to here. Um, John Dark is going to stay there as well. Because so Nomi's going to be more activating hero here very soon. So the enemy phase now. So the spare cycle. Just to double check, I've already moved it just before when I stuffed up with it before. So Lord moved up, and Lord didn't move up, the despair moved up to five. So we've got a little bit of time here. No new courage, no new despair dice. Um, minions then attack. Can't attack anywhere, they're up here, there's no one up there. They don't attack um, the troopers in the ambush areas. Minions then move, so Grillus coming down here. Two larvae come down here. Nomi has the lieutenant ability. This is why I'm moving it forward. So 1d10 plus a d6 from the Lieutenant ability. Let's roll. Actually, no, I'll do that after, sorry. Just keep moving the rest. Um, invasion token explodes here. 
Bet you this is going to be nasty. We'll see how we go. Cacodemon. Fiend. Gorillus. Okay. Okay, let's put them. Fiend. Cacodemon. Gorillus and three larvae come in. This is not nice and easy. Okay, ambush is set off here. 1d10, 1d6. Naomi's gonna cop some damage here in a moment too. Oh no, they've already attacked. My apologies. 10, yay, and a five. That's two grill eye. That's two courage in the pool. Uh, Sism Militia, roll three D6s. Four, two, two. That's pretty bad. That's a Grillus and two Love Eight. Three courage in the pool. It's now up to five in the pool. That was ambush is done. Let's move to the next turn, I think it's turn nine now. Hopefully I'm not getting too mixed up. Alrighty, turn nine. Um, plan here is to, after we recruit here, that gnome is going to set off um, the Lord area. I'll show you how that works in a moment. Because she's two spaces away. Lord is just over there. Two spaces away. I'm going to have to readjust the camera very soon. Comes if Marker passes to John Doe. Let's, um, let's just recruit first. Uh, John Dark and Terrain can recruit. John Dark's recruiting. He can get one more volunteer is what I'm after, really. It's pretty much guaranteed. He rolls a four, but I'm just going to get one more volunteer to, set, to finish up the set. So he's got four volunteers on him. Terrain will also roll. He's got a special forces. He rolls a two. He has an option here. Does he spend... Three courage to get another special forces. It's a lot of courage. He has three on himself, so he can do it from himself. Um, I think we'll do that. I don't think he he's he's got one more ability that he can get left. Gain four luck. Ah, sorry, one more spot left. But I think I'm going to do this. He's got three on him. Two plus three, give him five. He can have two special forces. That's that done. Uh, next phase is. Gifts. Now I'm thinking Naomi might get a gift here. I want to get her other world vision because I'm about to take on the Lord. Other world vision in the Lord battle, add one D8 to your attack. I need seven for that. Get across from here to there. So I'm thinking she's got two luck and there's five in the pool. So I'm going to spend all that. What can she get? Um, she can't get EMT because that costs an extra two. She get charity, give three luck to someone else. I think I might do that. I think that's the best. Let's give three luck to someone else, probably to Rand, because he's got no luck. Yes. Ooh, maybe not, because I might get Frag Grenade eventually. I might give the three luck to John Dark, so he has a ton of luck. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to spend two luck from Nomi. Five from the pool. And five from the pool that I'm going to spend. She's going to get charity. I'm going to put it right here. Otherworld Vision's now unlocked. We're going to add one DI to your attack. Then I'm up to um, hero phase. So we have some hero actions here. Um, and. Now, once, I'm just thinking ahead here. Once we go take on the Lord, and if we're not successful and we escape, we retreat, we get to go back to wherever we want to. Um, and the Lord goes back to his area, but we get to go wherever we want. So I'm thinking, John Duck's first here. He's got no chance of activating the Lord, but he can move forward to and try and take out some of these guys. So I don't waste his turn. Okay, he rolls a 1d8 and a 1d6.
take out two of these guys. Because this extra courage will help. Because um, that's what I'm lacking at the moment is courage. Um, this three luck. I'm going to um, put on John Dark. Five and five, that gets rid of two. That's two courage. And that's probably why how I've misstepped this, because there's no courage left in the pool. John Duck has two courage and five luck. Naomi has no luck, no courage. Terang, no luck, no courage. So that could be a flaw going into this. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Me on her turn is going to go one, and I'm going to skip through these guys. Two. And I'm going to, in, since I'm in the Lord Shadow area, we're going straight to hell time. And I'm going to elect that all three heroes come with me. Let's show you how that works. And firstly, I grab the Lord and I grab the hell time board. And we put a gate marker where the Lord was. And I'm just going to show you the hell time board very shortly. And we're about to explode this legion as well. Ah, oh, sorry, this invasion token. Alrighty, Solus, welcome to uh, hell time. When you get in with the Lord, the battle of the Lord... A few things happen here. So, Nomi went into the Lord's Shadow area. So, she's the activating hero. She comes in with the Lord and any minions that are in there or invasion tokens. In this case, it was just the invasion token. She's the activating hero. She was, it was her turn. If this ends and we haven't defeated the Lord and we come back to the map, so surviving retreating characters, um, her turn would be officially over. It would go then to Terang's turn, who was still yet to go in the normal phases back in the map. You go over here, you then get to elect whether um, heroes come with you. You can take one, you can take none, no heroes. I've decided to take all heroes in because I want to do as much damage as I can here. Uh, I think we're all prepared for this. And there's probably situations where a hero is not ready for it, there's only got one health that wants to stay out, is need, needing recruiting, things like that. Okay, next part. We must explode our invasion token. Time we're outside of um, the spare lord cycle too, so as this keeps going through, I'll explain if we do do another turn here, um, that the despair and lord cycle doesn't get affected. I believe John Dark's abilities where he manipulates the despair type cycle still happen though, but effects like stun, fire, pestilence, things like that won't occur during hell time. But I don't have any. Um, that's a lot of grillas. One, two grilla, and one thing. That's not too bad for hell time. So I'm not going to cop a doom here at all. I've got enough feel for that. Fiend. Grillis. Grillis. And three buddies. Lava. Come with them. Ooh, handy little note here. Trigger Lord's Mess is the next one. So let's now have a look at Buffman. How he works. This is Lord Buffman. He has two components. He has himself as a Lord and the Wall. The wall's sort of somewhat protecting him. The wall doesn't attack, but if the wall is destroyed first, if the wall is destroyed first, um, it goes down to a 68, his attack. He rolls 60, 12 as, an, as his normal attack. It's quite nasty. That's why I've got some troopers and stuff with me to try and absorb some of that damage. We might be able to survive a couple of rounds here, do some damage on him. The wall itself doesn't attack. Um, a menace here is happens when you first encounter him, when you encounter him in hell time. So if I retreat here and come back again, the menace will happen again. Buffman does, does an immediate attack, no minions though. Buffman also attacks with his minions during the normal battle sequence. So he's going to do a 6d12 attack to me straight away as soon as I walk in here. If I decide to hit the wall, because the wall starts off at 3 health, um, well Buffman has 12 health. Decide to hit the wall. Uh, gain one courage for each point by which an individual attack die roll that hits the wall exceeds the wall's toughness. I.e. a roll of nine would gain three courage. So that's pretty handy. If I roll quite high, I might hit the wall to get some extra courage here. Interesting. I put some health markers on him, so he's got three for the wall and 12 for Buffman itself. Let's put that next to here. First, I have to decide who's going to get hit by the menace. Now, it's not the lowest um, minion here. I mean, um, John Dark has his 
Hellbound, which is the lowest circle of minions. I don't think the Lord counts as minion anyway, but I've got other minions, so the Lord doesn't have to hit John Dark. But that's not a bad thing, because John Dark has uh, three toughness and four volunteers on him. That can help out. So, and he rolls 6d12. That is nasty. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's a chance of doing six damage here, which would almost kill John Dark. Um, also, there's Phlegathon happening still. So, if demons, is, demons injure me, which I think a lord is a demon, I'm set on fire. Now, as I said, we're in hell time here. The fire happens. I get the fire, but I won't get affected by the fire until I'm back out in the map. So, who's he going to hit? Or does he hit Terrain? Knowing that Terrain can definitely take six damage. Yeah, let's hit Terrain first of all. Because Terrain has two special forces which absorb three each. Okay. One, two, three, four, five hits. Because Terrain has a toughness of three. There's a one there that doesn't hit. Five hits. Ouch. So, special forces are going to absorb that for me. They've got six here. Now, when they absorb it, they roll a d6, and if I get a 6, I get to keep it. So hopefully I get at least a 6 here, because they're, otherwise they're both going to go. So let's roll first for this one. Oh, close, 5, so he's discarded. And then let's roll for this one. There's a 6. How good is that? So I keep one. I think it just paid for itself, that one. That's the menace done. Now it's my turn. I get to do some damage, do my, do my stuff. Alright, so it's time for the hero turn. Um, so Naomi activated this phase, but I believe it's the captain that gets to go first here, which would be John Dark. So we'll go John Dark, Naomi, then Terang. So John Dark is coming to here. He has one courage and five uh, luck. No one else has any courage to help him though, which is a definite shame. Um, so he'll be rolling a D8, a D6, and I'm going to use his... Going to use his forfeit soul ability. Just before you attack, increases the spare track by one to add a d10. So I'm going to do that. Forfeit soul, this will add one to the spare track, almost back to the start again. Um, it'd be interesting what would happen if I go back here and I had to move the Lord. I guess the effect wouldn't happen until I go back out. Um, I assume this occurs though, if I can use his ability to do the spare, the forfeit soul. Please let me know if I can't do that. So he would roll then a 1d10. He would then roll a d8 and a d6. I can't help him with anyone else. So rolling. Oop. Rolling. I've got six, five, and four. Um, that will. Get rid of two Grillo and a Lava. I think it's the best way I can do with that. The six can't hurt Baphomet. Um, so he's still on 12, two and three. Um, six toughness for both the Wall and the Lord. So can't hit him there. But I get my three Courage, which will be helped to boost some other people. Um, okay. So next up, would be Naomi. Naomi rolls a d8, d6. She also has... So d8, d6. She also has her Otherworld Vision ability, which i got underneath here, uh, which lets me roll 1d8 to my Lord Battle. And I'm thinking John Dark is going to boost, boost her as well. So 1d8, 1d6, another d8. So 2d8, d6, plus a boost from John Dark. So I'm going to use a Courage. Boost from John Dark is going to make it D10, D8, D6. Same as last time. D8, D10, D6. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. So that was a 1. So 7, 1, 2. Ah. Uh, actually, the 1. Ooh. The 1. Focus. You can replace one die roll of one with the maximum that die could roll. Excellent. That's going to be a 10. It's fantastic. So, 
So that one becomes a 10. Okay, what damage do I do here? Now I'm thinking, so seven could probably take out, ooh. Okay, so Lord, oh, so the reward, gain one courage for each point by which an individual attack, die roll, that hits the wall, exceeds the, door, the, exceeds the wall's toughness. So roll of nine will gain three. I think I might hit the wall here with that 10. So put it down to two. Yeah, and that'll give me four courage. That'll be awesome. And then seven's gonna take out the fiend, two take out the lava. Fantastic. Yes, that's a good start. I think that's a good start. So down to two there, I get uh, six courage for that. Three, four, five, six, that's fantastic. Alrighty, now we're down to Tarang's turn. So Tarang, he rolls a d10, d8. He's about to get a boost from uh, Naomi to go up to a d12. Because um, he goes up to d12 with just one boost because of his gratitude ability. Kenny, is it worth boosting this one? May as well. Trondike's got three. Three courage. Um, I could then use Salat. So I had one D8. I wonder, I wonder if the attack boost can boost my silver bullet ones. I'm assuming no. I'm assuming I can't do that. I'm assuming these ones can be boosted. I don't need these. Um, please let me know if I'm wrong with that one, guys. I think that's that's the way I read into that. So I'm going to boost him to a 1D12 with Naomi. Naomi's going to spend one of hers. So that's a D12 because of gratitude. Then a D10. Then I'm going to spend three health. One, two, three. Because of silver bullet. So one, two, three. Silver bullet means I get to add one D8 per time I do that. So one, two, three. So that's four D8s and a D12. Let's see here we go here. Let's see if we can do some serious damage to Lord Barton here. Uh, not really. Sixes. Oh, wow. Two sixes, one and four. That is a massive fail. Ah, oh, it's a big fail. Um, I was hoping for at least another hit, two hits. No one on buffing, I can hit the wall. Oh, and then he's gonna hit me with 6d12. Oh, that was a big fail. Oh, damn. Because if I do two damage to the wall, that would be fantastic. I've got nothing to boost. Boosted at all. Can't re-roll anything. There's no re-rolls really in this game. Okay, I have to just deal with this. That's okay. So, D9, I'm going to hit the wall. Hit the wall for one, which will give me three courage. It's three over, three for Tarang, because he needs some courage. Um, D D6, we'll hit the... Let's use D, D4, we'll hit the lava for one courage. And these are nothing. Sixes can't do anything. It'd be brilliant if they were both sevens to do some more damage. Kill the wall off. Start hitting the demon lord. Alrighty. Now, demons attack. So, all enemies attack in normal order, lowest up to the lord. With no one else except for the lord left on me now. So, the lord's going to hit me for still 6d12. Because the wall still exists for one more, one more damage here. So, 6d12. Um, now... This is where I get a bit confused. John Dark's ability, the lowest circle of minions in an area. I'm thinking the Lord is not a minion. Surely he's not a minion. So, I'm thinking I can choose who he hits. And let's make him hit, um, let's make him hit my, Naomi. Naomi's got a police that can absorb three. And then she's also got six health. So let's do that. She's got a toughness of two, by the way. So there's two ones, they don't hit, that's good. Six, nine, five, four, that's four hits. Cop takes three, he's toast, and Nomi takes one. Um, as Phlegathon is my, um, as my legion, I'm going to cop a fire token for Nomi Jocelyn. But this won't do any effect until we come out of hell time. So I've just added her fire token right there. 
Okay, there's my go. Let's do some serious damage here. So I can't do any first aid. Um, so Terang's got... Hmm. So I'm assuming John Dark's going to take the next hit on that. He's still got four volunteers. So let's give... Terang can do... And the Covenant Seed still stays as is. It doesn't move over yet. It's not That moves later. So John Dark will be first again. Here I was 1d8, 1d6. Let's give two helps here. So Terang helps and Naomi helps. So two helps means that you get a d10 and a d8. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go here. d10, d8. d10, d8. Let's take him down. Five and five, wow. Whew! We're not getting there, are we? This is getting harder than I thought. I suppose in the D8, there's only two out of the eight options, a quarter of a chance. D10, four out of ten, two-fifths of a chance. you think there'd be one hit, wouldn't you? But, um, not there. Alrighty, let's move on. We might have to come back a bit more buff next time. Naomi. So Naomi, let's help Naomi. Two helps. John Dark and Terang's gonna help. She rolls a D8, a D6, and a 1D8 there. So for these two, I'm gonna go 1 D10, D8, D8. Or can I up that to a D10? No, I want three chances here. So D8, so that's gonna be D10, D8, D8. D10, D8. D8. Come on. I need some hits. I need to at least get rid of the wall. One hit. One. Let's destroy his wall. Let's get rid of it. I think we're better copy. We're not really going to get too far here. Banish his wall. That means he only rolls 6 D8 from now on. His wall. That's one courage. I think it's worth doing right now. Um, I could just save that courage another time, but yeah, it's not, not every chance I'm going to do that. And Terang. So, do I silver bullet here? I think I do. He's going to get, um, let's help him twice this time. Make sure I get two D12s here. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to spend two health here. Oof, that's dangerous, isn't it? But two health here to add two D8. So two D12s, two D8s with two helps. One from John Dark, one from Nomi. Nomi still has four courage. John Dark has one. So 2d12s and lose 2 health for 2d8s. Let's get some damage. 1 damage. It's not, not rolling my way, is it? There's a 10, 4, 2, 2, so that's 1 damage to buff it. Yay. It's something. And I'm thinking we need to run away. He first gets to attack though, of course. Uh, he now rolls 68. This is much better. Who should he hit? He's going to hit um, John Dark. John Dark's got four volunteers here. I'm hoping for only four hits. That doesn't count. Four hits. He's got a toughness of three. Uh, there's a three. There's a one. There's a one. That's a nine. You know what I've done? I've just dead set rolled D10s. So, 6 <laughs> Even though that wasn't a bad roll, there was only three hits there, but... You know, better do it correctly. Better do it correctly. Bet you this will be six hits now, but we'll see. That's what I get for rolling the wrong dice, probably. Six hits! Because toughness of three, they're all above three, so... See you later, volunteers. You all get shoved in the way of that. All four dead. And he had a top cap of five here. Things have moved since I just grabbed it. So plus one to cap. So he's normally four, but five. So if four was taken by volunteers. Two more here, and he's also now set on fire. We put the fire token on him. Can we do one more round? Now it's our choice. We either retreat or stay. 
Um, I've got one special forces on terrain which absorbs three, but it's only got one health left. I think it's time to get the hell out of here. Alrighty. We retreat. So what's going to happen is we retreat back to where we want to on the map. The Lord will go back to his gate marker. So I'll come back to you guys. I'll show you how it's set up again once we come back out. Alrighty, so we're coming out of hell time now. We've all decided to retreat. Um, we've got Baphomet's wall gone. He's down to 11 health left. I was hoping to do a, probably two or three more damage there. Yeah, I think I've got a few unlucky rolls there, but that was okay. I think somewhat successful. Nothing dangerous here. Um, John Dark's on fire. Nomi's on fire. Terang's got one health left. Come away with a little bit of courage, a little bit of damage. I think we're okay. So, first of all, we put the Lord back at the gate marker over there. Uh, again, this is the core box only that I'm playing with at the moment instead of my Hellhound stuff. So, I'm using the little token there to represent where he used to be and where all the minions go back. All the minions are dead, but the Lord comes back. The Lord goes back up there, I replace the gate marker. We get to choose where we retreat to. So, I imagine you can still re retreat to the Lord here if you want to, I guess. Do Hell Time again, but that's a bit stupid. Um, now, I've got to keep in mind, I went on Nomi's Go. John Dark is already gone. So I'm thinking John Dark will go back to his start area. Nomi didn't get to attack, but that's just unfortunate. We go to the next hero's turn. Nomi activated this thing. Um, I could put her here to help boost the volunteers here, but then she won't get to heal at all next go. So I might take her back home as well. I think everyone needs to heal up. And Terang has some abilities to attack. Um, but I think we'll move him back as well. They're all back at home. I think these guys will move up. We can meet them in, over here and have a go at these guys when they move. Um, so it was Terang's go. He can't do anything. He, did, he has his special forces still. Um, and I could place that down if I really wanted to, but I don't think I will. I think I might keep this. Um, try and get another special forces next go. Yes, yeah, Bobby. I suppose I'll just ditch my ambush turn if I don't get anywhere near five. I've got two courage on him, so I could, if I get a three, I can still get one. Two or less, I think I might just keep what I've got. Um, that was his go, so now we're up to despair and lord cycles. Okay, despair cycle, three people. One, two, three. Move the lord up to three there. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Um, add another despair die. Four courage in the pool. We're going to be up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dice in the pool. This is looking nasty. Cleared out deaths at all the minions out here. All the invasion tokens are missing at the moment. But that's not looking too bad. It's occurred. Minions now attack. Nothing for them to attack. They're all the way over there. Minions now move. So move up one. Um, and then an invasion token will come onto the Lord space, which is the area one. So it would stay there. Um, ambushes occur, nothing in area two, area three. The volunteers will roll one d10. And it's a 10, fantastic. There goes a fiend. Courage in the pool. Okay. Um, that's the end of that turn.